So God of War 4 is coming soon, and I mean really soon. I mean within a week, and I am so excited for this game that I just cannot stop thinking about it. I've been excited for this game ever since it got announced two years ago, and I just can't wait to play it. There's going to be a full Let's Play up on my channel if you guys are interested in that. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. But this video isn't about my Let's Play. It's about this theory that I've been having for a long time now and I really think it's going to become true so I just want to make this theory now before the game releases so that everyone knows I predicted it and by the way there are potential spoilers in this because it's possible that this theory may be true I actually think it is I don't see I really don't see why it wouldn't be true but once again there are spoilers here if you have you have been warned so the theory is that Atreus is not Kratos's actual son he was raised by Kratos, but he is not his son biologically, and he's actually the son of another god. And um, well, I'm going to show you guys why I think this to be true, and you guys can decide for yourself if you believe me or not. So let's go with the evidence. So the first thing I decided to go with was the name, really, Atreus. It's actually a very... Um, it's actually very interesting that they chose this name for this character if you really pay attention to it. It is a Greek name and it has no uh, Nordic roots so that's obviously clear because he probably was named by Kratos so let, there's that. So let's go ahead and look at what Atreus means or rather I should say who he was. Atreus doesn't really have a meaning like a lot of other Greek names do. It's just uh, uh, it's more of an original name. Atreus was a person who was exiled by his father for doing some disgusting things pretty much um and he also goes by an alias which would be pleisthenes now pleisthenes is very interesting name because it has been used multiple times in the greek mythology and it also was used for one person who was actually an illegitimate son to his father and this illegitimate Pleisthenes was killed by his father Artreus because Artreus's wife had an affair which resulted in Pleisthenes being born. I'm sorry if I'm butchering these names it's pretty hard to pronounce but anyways the the, well, the point of it is that in Greek mythology Artreus had a son named Pleisthenes and Pleisthenes was illegitimate so that's clue number one. Now clue number two comes from the fact that Artreus has thunder powers. This has already been confirmed in many trailers. I'll put it on the screen here. He has the ability to use thunder. Now there, there's only one god in Greek mythology that has the ability to use thunder and that would be Zeus. Zeus being the father of Kratos, I guess you can argue that genetically the power went down and Kratos didn't get the power of thunder but his son did. That would be a possibility. However, there's also a possibility that Atreus is the brother to Thor and the son of Odin, which would also give him the ability to have thunder power as well, which would be, uh, which would also make perfect sense in the in the mythology, and especially when you keep in mind that in um, Greek mythology, uh, no other god ever had thunder power or lightning power except for Zeus. So it wouldn't make sense for it to be hereditary in this case. Uh, once again, it is possible, but I do believe that this that Atreus is the son of Odin, which is why he has thunder powers. Um, another thing we can go for is looking at how Atreus looks. Now we haven't seen Atreus's mother, uh, so we don't know how his mother looks. We never seen her, but he doesn't look like Kratos at all. He doesn't have he doesn't share any traits traits with Kratos. The same hair color, same eye color, same skin color, nothing. So it's very it's very odd that he looks nothing like Kratos at all. Uh, but once again, you could argue that Zeus didn't really look like Kratos either, I suppose. But we do have some of Kratos, uh, an image of Kratos' daughter. For those of you who don't know, Kratos did have a child in the previous God of War, and his daughter uh, looks a lot more like him than Atreus does if you take a look at these renders. Another argument is the way that Kratos speaks to Atreus. He refers to him as boy and things like that. He doesn't really seem to be much of a father. And once again, you can argue that that is because Kratos is a harder, more standoffish character. You wouldn't expect him to be the soft, loving, caring father that uh, most people would expect. But the thing is, Kratos has never had any issue connecting with his daughter before. He loves his daughter. has been shown Time and time again in the God of War series, uh, one of his driving motivations is to get revenge for for being forced to kill his own daughter. So he clearly loves his daughter and he has no problem showing it. You can see it in this cutscene here. 
uh, in a previous God of War game, he had no problem showing his daughter emotion. So why is he having so much trouble showing this boy who is also his son's emotion, especially considering he would have spent just as much, if not more time with this boy as he did with his own daughter, especially considering that he lost his daughter. It doesn't make any sense that he would be able to connect with this kid. The only way he wouldn't be able to connect with this kid is if, if it was not his own true born son. If, if he knew that it wasn't his true son and he, and he wasn't trying to press any boundaries which it really seems like if you watch the cutscenes the way Kratos communicates with this kid it really seems like more of a stepfather relationship rather than a father-son relationship and I think the challenging um, side of the story for Kratos is going to be uh, explaining to to this kid who has immense powers has already been shown that he has immense powers and that that Kratos loves him, but he's not his father, and and that he his father doesn't love him, you know, because in this in this iteration, I'm pretty sure Odin and all the other gods are going to be rendered out to be the bad guys. It wouldn't make sense, right? And there's also more things to support this theory, like for example, a lot of the monsters seem to not really be uh too aggressive toward Atreus like this one here is simply just taking him away once again there's that's that's all we we don't have much to go on here but he's just simply taking him away Atreus being able to talk to all the monsters and uh, this monster who when the when the game got released um or announced in 2016 in the trailer this monster is trying to plead to Atreus so it just makes a lot more it just makes a lot of sense and to put this into perspective if if Atreus is not Kratos' son, and in fact the son of Odin, it's going to be a big plot twist for this, this, obviously for this game, and God of War games have always had plot twists, every single one always has a plot twist, and some of them are better than others, but every single God of War game has a big plot twist towards the end, and I would not be surprised in the slightest if that was the plot twist for this game. I really wish I hadn't thought of this, I really wish I, really wish I didn't, but I just can't help thinking that this is going to be true. I hope it isn't, I hope this game surprises me, but... I, I don't see any I don't see it going any other way just because of all the information that I've given you guys it just doesn't make any sense for Kratos to treat this kid so 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 strangely considering he's already had kids before the only way the only way it would make sense is if he's not really his legitimate father but let me know what you guys think in the comments and uh, once again I'm gonna be playing this entire game from start to finish on this channel make sure you subscribe if you're interested in that kind of thing and it's your boy hero see you guys next time peace